Hello guys, it's Jonas Central here, and this isn't going to be some tutorial of some sort. It's just, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue that you might have run into, and I, I know why I've run into this issue before, and I don't know why it was happening, but I'm going to explain it right about now. So, it's this weird bevel profile issue. So, if I delete the cube here and add in the cube, I could scale it, uh, this cube up on the y-axis, go into edit mode, and then control B to bevel this edge. But as I do that, as you can see, the bevel comes out really, really strange. And it's frustrating because you're like, why is this happening? And you might go into here, you might try and mess with the settings, maybe turn the segments up, mess with all these settings, but you find those aren't really working. So to fix that, add in another cube, go into edit mode and scale it up and then bevel the edge. And as you can see, it's beveling properly versus stretching it out. And the best way to explain this is by, let's say I have this cube, and I bevel the edge, and then I scale it up on the y-axis. As you can see, it's looking similar to the uh, my first example, because it's it's you're stretching out the object. So as you can see, we've got a cube, and this, when I just scale it out of edit mode, I'm just, I'm stretching the object. But if I go into edit mode, I'm not necessarily stretching the object, I'm just changing the object data which you can then manipulate to do your bevels versus literally just scaling it up and down. So if you ever want your bevels to be nice and smooth or whatever, I recommend not messing with your starting object but going into edit mode before you start scaling things around and adding and removing faces, otherwise you're going to end up with really weird bevel effects like this. And yes, it does apply for the modifier too. So. I really hope this helped out, and have a good day. <laughs> See you later.